Hey everyone, I just got done shooting uh, the last video, or actually the most recent video that you'll see probably over the weekend. Uh, that's when I'll post it. And I figured while I was here, I'd do a quick uh, cell phone video and do a little quick tour of my bench and my workspace. Um, and I also have a uh, little mail opening here. Um, I'm going to show you here. So this just arrived today, and actually I don't think I need the scissor. Just do this. There we go. And voila! For next month's uh, three blind mice, the '73 Ford Falcon XB. Uh, I went out and actually uh, had to purchase it because I thought I had one. Turns out I didn't. So. I ponied up the cash, and I'm set for next month's three blind mice, and uh, looking forward to that. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things here uh, where I work, how I get it done, and where the magic happens uh, in this shop. So bear with me. Cell phone video. I'm going to have to look through the back of my camera. Uh, so basically this is the shop. This is the area uh, in my 75 year old basement uh, where I keep uh, store all the vehicles and hobby stuff. Um, I'm more than just a collector of die casts. That's just recent. Uh, basically that shelf is really about it. I've, I've trimmed down my collections uh, dramatically. But uh, basically everything in here is die cast. This is some of the stuff I've already there's some of the Leslie stuff I've already uh, restored. And basically everything else in here is either something that's been restored or will be restored. This is the, the good boneyard of stuff that has promise um, to be put on the bench and worked on at some point. Or I'm actually thinking of uh, parting some of these, not parting them out, but parting with them and getting them into the hands of collectors or whoever else may need them or somebody else that wants to take a stab at restoring them. Uh, I pick them up when I can. For the most part, uh, I've been very, very fortunate in some of the auctions and flea markets out here in New Jersey. Um, and even some of the lots I've purchased on eBay. Um, I think the most expensive thing I purchased um, for a lot was Something that's back in one of these containers here was a complete uh, set, like 48 cars of uh, first series Lesney. I think I paid $60 with shipping. It was uh, 36 cars, I think, or 40 cars in the lot, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. But anyway, here's the toolboxes. Um, more than just die cast tooling parts in there, there's guitar repair parts in there. But a place for everything, everything in its place. You can see the progress I'm making on this 75-year-old basement. There's the old green paint, and there's my new concrete work to patch up some of the cracks and seal it up. And that's where I've left off. So we're getting further and further down the line. Uh, that's pretty much the catch-all table that is off the side of the bench. I keep some of the jewelry tools that I make there. Um, there's my pickle pot for some of that work. If nobody knows what a pickle pot is, uh, go check it out. Go search for it. <clears throat> so this is the bench. Uh, I keep everything that I need in a pinch, basically in an arm's length, because I'm working here. If I need it in a hurry, it's here. It's somewhat organized. Um, it's not taking up too much space. You know, the necessities, a couple of hammers, a little power strip down here to power things up as needed. Uh, my old uh, dusty second generation iPod uh, radio, iHome radio, uh, just a shelf where I keep, that's the actual monitor that I'm looking through when I'm filming. Here's my film camera for the videos. Um, pretty basic. I'm a Steeler fan, if you haven't guessed. I'm also a guitar nut. Um, so here's my camera. Um, I'll give you a quick, since I just got done filming, 
So I'm using a Canon 7D Mark II, which is a digital SLR. And when I'm fiddling about down there, I'm looking in there, in there, in there, working here, looking there to see what I'm delivering. So when you see me do weird hand stuff and I'm trying to get stuff in the frame, and that's why. I'm getting better at it, I think. So that's where that happens. Actually, I can turn this off because I don't need that on anymore. And basically, this is the rest of my bench. Uh, I try and keep everything within arm's length when I need it. It's here and protected because, like I said, 75-year-old basement. Sometimes dust is an issue. So even my batteries for my camera, I keep in a little case. I try and keep it pretty neat. Uh, worst thing you're doing is cleaning up while you're trying to work. So I try and keep it pretty clean right out of the gate. There's a selection of my rattle can paints. Uh, Spectroflame paints, acrylic based paints. Uh, this is my own version. If you've seen the video, this is my own version of Spectroflame. Uh, it seems to work. It doesn't work quite as well as Spectroflame. So hats off to the Redline shop. The paint is awesome. Um, but, you know, I use mine from time to time. And basically everything I need to get at is right in front of me, including my Dr. Pepper. I hope they uh, don't see that. There's my jar of paint stripper. Um, you've seen me submerge multiple vehicles in here. So what I do is I keep the jar about half full. And then in order to get full coverage on the vehicle, I turn it sideways, the entire vehicle gets submerged, and if this happens to leak, it will leak in my container. Um, here is, again, the rest of the paint and stuff I need for painting purposes. Uh, I use this little vise here as a handy holder. When I am done taking a car from the paint booth and I just want to hold it, that's what I do. And I'm able to level this. Uh, this is on a little ball head down here and it swivels and turns so I'm able to level the paint out as I need. Cleaning supplies for my brush, airbrush. Um, the nasty chemicals that are really good for you, uh, denatured alcohol, mineral spirits, uh, lacquer thinner, all there as my paint booth, spray booth. I think everybody's got one of those booths. And the uh, compressor. So right now you don't see my airbrush in there, and that is because I just got done spraying the urethane um, clear that I use, that I rave about, the American Automotive products clear. And after, you know, two or three times of spraying that with intermittent cleanings, it's time to do a full cleaning. Urethane, even the urethane for the Spectroflame paint um, kind of hoses up your air gun or your spray gun. So... It's in here, all apart, giving it an overnight soak in some lacquer thinner. And you can see the lacquer thinner is actually yellowing, and that's from everything that's in there. Old paint, old urethane, clear. So we'll let that sit overnight. Tomorrow we'll go over it, make sure it's rinsed off, put back together. Uh, I just recently put a filter, a new filter in the, uh, in the booth some updated cardboard that'll probably be good for I don't know two or three months I kind of I kind of really let it go longer than it should but as I get to it or as I see that it's really getting bad that's what I clean it up but this is it this is where the magic happens for me um, again nothing fancy uh, if anybody has any uh, actually I forgot to show you this so behind my fancy backdrop for my vehicle reveals is this little bin. I uh, keep all my super glues in here. Uh, it's actually time to refill that. Cotton swabs, uh, toothpicks, there's some gel, resin, and stuff for guitar work mostly still stayed in here because I need to get, that, get at that in a hurry. 
that's really it. Just a little organization, and then above that, uh, you can see the uh, accelerator for the super glue, um, a little cup of three in one oil for tapping those screws out. There's a few cars and some clear plastic uh, clamshells that I've been working on that I have still haven't finished all my tapes. That's it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just try and keep it organized and shuffle around as I need to. That's about it, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick video, an update. Um, you should see a new video over the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, for the latest uh, restoration. I'll give you a hint. It's a Matchbox. Actually, it's a Lesney Matchbox. And that's it. I'm uh, looking forward to working on this for next month. I may actually join in the Paint It Pink um, for uh, breast cancer awareness. And that's about it for now. Thanks for tuning in and uh, supporting the channel recently. Uh, I've seen a little surge in my numbers. I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing, leaving comments, and uh, giving me the thumbs up. So continue to do so. I, I really, really appreciate it. And I uh, look forward to keeping up with everything and producing some more videos. So I will talk to you soon and keep on the lookout for next month's uh, Three Blind Mice. And keep on the lookout for the Paint It Pink as well. Talk to you soon. Bye.